All right, time's now 514. Let's switch gears, get over to Peyton. I love that green tie. Thank you. I'm trying to get in the fall spirit here, maybe even the winter spirit, actually. <laughs> and Leslie, we've got a great seven day forecast for you. We're starting off this morning, 60s all across the south, except for the peninsula of Florida. There's that's where all the warm, humid areas. There's a warm front and a cool front over that direction, and we're going to be feeling the effects of that front all day long. Now we still have the clouds around the clouds are going to be slowly clearing out through the morning. I do think we'll get some sunshine peeking out this afternoon and we start off in the 60s. We'll end up in the 70s, so it is cool this morning with the north breeze this afternoon. Still cool to mild in the mid 70s with partly cloudy skies and lower winds anywhere north at about five to eight miles per hour. Here's where that low pressure is behind it. We've got the cool drier air coming back on in ahead of it. You've got the severe weather tornado watches with even a few confirmed tornadoes earlier this morning for Florida. That's all heading away from us. So there may be one or two sprinkles or a little drizzle at times wrapping around the low pressure, but thinking we're dry from here on out. In fact, I don't have any rain in the forecast. Uh, all the way through at least next Wednesday. So we're about to get in a long stretch of dry weather, but beautiful weather. And it's thanks to a strong front moving in this weekend. So this is today. Notice a lot of clouds still in Mississippi. There may be one or two sprinkles. That's about it. Western area see a lot of sunshine and then the clouds really start to break down tomorrow. Your Friday afternoon, mostly sunny. Our cold front expected to arrive Friday night, and that's going to transition us back into a long stretch of that nice cooler weather. Now temperatures behind that front are still going to come down slowly, so we'll be in the 80s tomorrow and 80s Saturday, but still beautiful weather on Saturday 75 Sunday and look at early next week. We struggle to get out of the 60s on Monday. We struggle to get out of the 60s on Tuesday and those days come with a lot of sunshine, so it's going to be sunny and cool all the way through at least the middle of next week. Nothing threatening in the tropics, so there's some good news for you, but the tropics, we still have some things. We've got Tropical Depression, Sean. We also have Invest 94. These two features fairly far out here, especially for October standards. Usually in October, we start to focus our attention towards Central America and the Caribbean, but uh, we have these two guys out here and they're going to stay out there for a while. Sean's probably going to dissipate in the coming days, so not really worried about that. Invest 94, it's so far out here for the next seven days or so, it's going to be traversing across the eastern Atlantic. So there's no immediate threat with Invest 94, but the islands out here worth keeping an eye on in the next seven to 10 days. By the way, now that we're through Sean on the list, Tammy is the next name, then Vince. And Whitney is the last name on this list for the 2023 hurricane season. So we're almost through the list here. Uh, and it's very possible we do get into the supplemental list this year. We'll sh we shall see. So here's that great seven day forecast. We're going to briefly warm up tomorrow and Saturday. It will be beautiful both days, especially Saturday. A little windy, lots of sunshine though. And then look at early next week. We get our mornings back in the 40s and 50s on Monday and Tuesday. The afternoons near 70 with lots of sunshine. So definitely feeling like fall. Your marine forecast, big improvements on this front compared to yesterday. Now we have a small craft use caution, but winds are lighter. So our chop is lighter, but still small craft be extra careful. High tides today running through the daytime hours and your low tides happening later on this evening and into tonight.